Hello everyone, this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com, and today I'm going to be demonstrating for all of you how the technology AirDrop works. This is a really simple sharing technology, and I found that it was actually confusing several of my clients, so I thought it would be just a good idea to create a short tutorial video and show you how it works and how it can benefit you. One of the examples where I might use it is, let's say I'm giving a presentation to a small group of people, and at the end of that presentation, I would like to give those people a way to contact me. Well, of course, I could give them a business card, but what if it's a fairly decent-sized crowd? Well, AirDrop is one way that I can get my information into every single one of their phones, provided that they have an iPhone. So, the way you set up AirDrop in the first place is you need to take your finger and you need to start at the very, very bottom of the screen and swipe up. That brings you into Control Center. This is where you'll find your AirDrop settings, right here at the bottom towards the left. And right now you'll see that my settings are set to everyone. That's fine if you're dealing with a small group or if you're just maybe having dinner with a couple people. That being said, if you're in a really crowded area like a city, you may not want to do that. It's just going to open the floodgates. So in that case, you may want to change your airdrop settings to contacts only. So you're only going to see people who are in your address book. That's not going to really work when you're sending them your contact information, but let's say you're sharing a photo. That would be an example where you might want to keep it on that mode. Let's hit cancel for now. And so what I want to do is give you two different demonstrations of how it works. The first is I created, I'm going to go into contacts, just created a dummy card for myself here. Okay, so what you would do is take the contact information, this can be yours or someone else's, and you would hit the little button at the bottom that you see that says share contact. When you do that, AirDrop will show. Now, where it says Mac Guru, that refers to this iPad, which is my iPad, which is sitting right next to it. So all I have to do is tap on this little icon right here, and there you go. And it says that David Cox would like to share you a contact card, David Cox. How about that? And so when you hit accept, that information will now go into your device. Another example where you might find this helpful is, uh, let's go into photos real quick. And let's say that I have a photo, which I have conveniently selected right here, which I want to share with the person who owns this iPad. Once again, I click the little share button, which is this square at the bottom with an arrow sticking up out of it. AirDrop just takes a second or two to load. Now, the other thing that's good to know is that AirDrop works whether or not you are in a wireless network. It's looking at your GPS signal, so it's looking at where you physically are. Send it into the other iPad, or rather the other device, and there you go. So as soon as I hit accept on that iPad, it would go into that iPad's photo library. I'm going to hit decline for now. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are watching us on YouTube, if you don't mind clicking that little like button, we certainly do appreciate it. It helps us keep these classes free. And of course, you can find all of our classes, both the live ones and the ones that we have recorded in the past, on our website at PCClassesOnline.com. That's all, everyone. Take care.